take a look at another thriller multiple choice. If 100 grams of copper completely reacts with 25.0 grams of oxygen to form copper 2 oxide, how much copper 2 oxide will form from 140 grams of copper and excess oxygen? All right, so let me write out the formula for copper 2 oxide. Boom, CuO. We're told that 100 grams of copper completely reacts with 25 grams of oxygen. We want to know how much copper 2 oxide will form from 140 grams of copper and excess oxygen. 140 grams of copper means we're going to need how many grams of oxygen? This question is testing your understanding of the law of definite proportions, which states that for any compound, no matter where you get that compound or the size of the sample of your compound, the ratio of the masses of the elements in that compound are always the same. Now, some of you might be saying, how am I going to do this without a calculator? Let's take a look at this side of the proportion. 125 can be simplified to 4 over 1 equals 140 over x. Using our mad algebra skills, we get 4x equals 140. Divide each side by 4. That'll tell us how much oxygen we need to completely react with 140 grams of copper. Now, 140 divided by 4 might still be kind of tricky. So what I like to do is divide 140 by 2, boom, 70, and then divide 70 by 2 again to give me 35. So x equals 35 grams of oxygen. Now, you're thinking, boom, I'm done. There's an answer. Be sure to read the question very carefully. We want to know how much copper 2 oxide will form, not how much oxygen is needed. So to finish things up, we're going to take our 140 grams of copper. It's going to react with 35 grams of oxygen. So the total mass of the compound is going to be 175 grams of copper 2 oxide. Boom. That is our final answer. Answer choice C.